what was your focus? What were you looking at? What were you trying to take away? Um, you know, just uh, try to make everything as difficult as I could. Um, you know, he's the MVP of the league for a reason. Um, and how much pressure he can put on your defense and so many things that he can do. Um, so, um, you know, I was just out there trying to fight for my life and trying to make an impact. And, and, uh, and I understood that in this series, it wasn't going to be so much my offense. It was more defensively that I had to take that challenge and, uh, and defend him um, for us to have a chance. How did your approach to him kind of evolve over the course of the series? Obviously, you know, you're very familiar with him anyway, but just kind of has the series as well. Um, yeah, you know, I, I, I um, continued to study, you know, the games and became, you know, more comfortable uh, and seeing things that I could do. And um, he, he's, he's, you know, he's the MVP. He's the MVP flat out. Um, he can do so many things. And, um, uh, you know, for me, uh, it was, um, you know, it was very difficult. Um, but uh, it was one of those things that, uh, you know, I just had to figure it out to, you know, I had, I had to put my imprint in the series. I had to figure it out. Were there any adjustments you had to make in terms of the way you were guarding him over the course of the series? Um, uh, you know, re really, you know, just uh, uh, stepping up and, and, and trying to just make everything tougher for him. And, uh, you know, when, when you guy, guard a guy like that, it's not only you. And I've said this before, it's the, the rest of the guys have to be engaged and understand. And uh, our guys did a good job with that. They were around it. They were active. They were helping me when they needed, um, uh, when I needed help. And, uh, and, and I feel like Joe um, put, put a really good plan. And, you know, and, and that's why I mean, we got to this position that we were able to mix it up and show them different coverages, and, and that was helpful. What shifted in the third quarter tonight? Huh? What shifted in the third quarter tonight? Um, you know, we uh, defensively, I felt like we, you know, just took it to another level, really doubled down, locked in even more on the things that we needed to do, and then um, on offense, we took really good shots, uh, really played with the pace that we wanted to play, we played with good pace, that was key for us offensively, and, and that's how, you know, Jason was able to get going and create opportunity for the guys, and um, uh, it, it was beautiful to see. I'm going to have to... I don't know if I'll go back and watch the game. <laughs> I have to move ahead, but you, you know, I may, I may go back just, just to see kind of what we did because it was, you know, it was impressive. It was good. Um, that my mind is already shifting you know, to, to, to the next thing, you know. But uh, I'm sure that we'll watch some stuff and, and see, you know, how we can continue to keep that pace and, and, and be better. Did you get a sense in the third quarter that when Jason was targeting Joel? that he might have been like wearing Joel down a little bit by forcing him to guard out on the perimeter. Maybe that did that help at all defensively? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I just think that Jason was in such a zone that it didn't matter who, who was going to be out there. Um, uh, you know, it's just so remarkable what he what he's been able to what he was able to do tonight. It's so remarkable. Um, a game seven, this type of magnitude, there's so many emotions, there's a lot of intensity, um, and, and for him to play like that, I mean, that's, um, you know, that, 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 that's what special players do. When did you know he was on one? Um, uh, it was in the third, you know, in the third, um, uh, after one of those threes that he made, I was like, man, uh, you know, he just really has to go in and everything together. And um, uh, the, the thing that I'm most proud of him is just how resilient he is, because this series well, wasn't ideal for him, wasn't going well for him individually on the offensive end, but he continued to defend, he continued to have an impact on the game. and. Uh, when he broke through in that game six, um, you know, I feel like that really kind of helped him uh, get going. And, and, uh, and it was just great to see him put this kind of show out there tonight. This was, you know, as everybody knows, it's just very special. You guys have responded. You guys have come back from 3-2 deficits before, but kind of what do you think allowed you guys to, to you know, hang it in and win this series still despite um, falling behind? We, we really locked in, stayed together. Um, uh, 
that, that's a really good team over there. That easily could have been a conference final matchup, or if they were in the other side, it could have been a final. Like you know, they're that good of a team, and um, you know, you got to give them credit. Uh, they're, they're a good team, and and, and and you know, one team had to win. And, just were able to get it done. The, uh, that second quarter, I think it was eighth, Joe called a timeout. It looked like he was really animated. What was he trying to pull out of you guys in that moment, and what kind of change for you guys after that? Uh, yeah, just, you know, we needed to stay the course. Um, you know, both teams came out hitting. You know, they kind of hit, made a run. And, uh, uh, you know, he just kept perspective for us. Uh, you know, he's done such a good job managing our, our team, our locker room, through ups and downs. Uh, he has a really good feel for things, and, uh, and I'm very happy for our team. But, um, you know, for him, uh, you know, it's not easy being in this position, and he, he figures that he's figuring it out, and he's putting us in the best positions to win.